44 Ecaf section 1 Meditation over a blessing We learn that it is a commandment to bless God and that these blessings draw down the blessings from the supernal world. They draw life from the source of life. The blessing is like a gift to God that was sent by the person who prayed to him. We learn about the secret meaning of Amen that adorns the blessing and about how the prayers and blessings ascend from below upwards through many levels when the blessings descend all the Patriarchs and the children are blessed. Barak is the secret meaning of the highest source there is and its flow is uninterrupted. We are also told of the secret meaning of the words Ada and Malek in the blessing. An explanation is given of the bowing and bending of the knee during the prayer service. Rai Mahim the faithful shepherd one. Wherefore it shall come to pass if you hearken to these judgments. Devarim 712 When you have eaten and are replete then you shall bless Hashem your Elohim. Devarim 810 We are commanded to bless the Holy One. Blessed be he for everything we eat and drink and enjoy in this world. He who does not bless is considered as stealing from the Holy One. Blessed be he as it is written he who robs his father or his mother. Mishlei 2824 And the friends explain that it applies to the Holy One. Blessed be he the blessings that a person gives the Holy One. Blessed be he are meant to draw life from the source of life which is bonded to the Holy Name of it. Holy One blessed be he and these blessings are to pour on top of him from that supernal oil that is the abundance of Shachma from there it is then drawn upon the whole world too it is also written when you have eaten and are replete then you shall bless Hashem your Elohim but by these blessings a person pours out through his words abundance from the highest source that is bind all the levels and sources of Zeir and Ben and Malchut are blessed and filled with abundance to pour upon all the worlds and everything is blessed together three therefore a person needs to meditate on the secret of the blessing so that the patriarchs who are Shesed Bira and Tiferet of Zeir and Ben and the children who are Netzach and Yezid of Zeir and Ben shall all be blessed together whoever blesses the Holy One blessed be he is blessed and receives his part from these blessings before the rest of the lower world as soon as the name of the Holy One blessed be he is blessed from there the initial portion of those blessings comes down and rests on the head of the one who said the blessing we have already provided an explanation for this as it is written in all places where I cause my name to be pronounced I will come to you and I will bless you Shema 2021 20, after that particular blessing comes and rests on the head of he who blessed it spreads from there to the rest of the world for when these blessings descend they are adorned within the field of holy apple trees that is Malchut. Many levels of those nominated over the world meet them there and come down together with them announcing and proclaiming that it is a gift that this person sent to the holy one blessed be he asks from which place do the blessings descend he replies the blessings descend afterward from the place of the head of the righteous that is yes of Zeir and then the blessings first go up and cause other blessings from above to go down and it is filled from those that descend from above and from those that ascend from below this is the meaning of blessings are upon the head of the just Mishlei 106 once that level is filled up it pours upon the bride which is Malchut once they flow and spread downward 5 when these blessings rise from below there is no single opening above and there is no appointee from up high that does not open these openings and declare throughout the firmaments this is a gift to the king that so and so sent that is a holy proper gift what is a full blessing it is a blessing to which amen was said for every blessing to which amen was said is a properly full blessing 6 when this blessing ascends all the grades above summon the non-shining namely Malchut to shine on it even more so if it is a blessing said by many it is adorned with holy crowns by means of saying amen amen is the secret of the connections within each unification and sanctification in accordance with the secret of his master it properly adorns that blessing with sublime Crown 7 The Holy One blessed be he favors those that bless him and his passion is for the blessing that is below that blessing rises and lights up the non-shining candle which is Malchut and strengthens it with a strong force to rise above to unite with Zeir and about the secret it is written those who give me honor I will honor Ishmael 130 this verse refers to those who give blessings to the Holy One blessed be he and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed if it refers to those who do not bless the Holy One blessed be he and withhold any blessings from their mouths 8 the secret of secrets is for those who have knowledge in the wisdom of their master to know the secret meanings of the blessings recited over the commandments of the Torah and over all the enjoyments and pleasures in this world to pour out blessings from above downward 9 he explains the exception is the blessings in the prayer service which are the correction of their master they both rise from below upwards and from above downwards while the blessings that are not over the prayer rise from below upwards until they reach the non-shining line which is Malchut and awaken it with force by that blessing this awakening rises high up until it reaches the highest throne which is by the source of all life meaning that all lights emanate from it other blessings then flow out from that higher source and they meet and kiss one another they approach and rest on the head of the righteous. That is Yezid of Zeir and Pen to pour down when they descend the patriarchs which are Shesed Bira and Tiferet of Zeir and Pen and the children which are Netzach and Yezid of Zeir and Pen are blessed and all their candles which are the Sfirat of Malchut and the secret of these blessings that awaken from above to below pertains to the secret blessed is the secret of the highest source which is Supernal Abba and Ima which are called Chakma one needs to meditate to pour draw and kindle from. They're all the candles meaning the lower grades it is always blessed because its water never ceases flowing meaning they are in a never-ending union and their abundance to the lower beings never ceases flowing from there the beginning that is called the world to come meaning binder receives it is called the end of heaven because that end is the upper end of Zeir and been called heaven for there is a similar end below which is the lower world Malchut which is also called blessed in correspondence to the lower beings meaning to pour blessings downward and awaken from below upward by the blessing of the prayer but here regarding the other blessings is called blessed after the secret of Shachma denoting supernal Abba and Ima that which fills that place by it called the world to come is mentioned above by means of a narrow path meaning is it of Shachma through which it enters it eleven the word you and the blessing then begins to be revealed because blessed is hidden which are Chakma and Bina that are incomprehensible to the lower beings therefore it is called blessed vaguely it being a higher unexposed source however the word you is the start of the revelation outside this is why it is called you and the second person who is revealed and who is it, it is the secret of the right which is Jesus of Zeir and been called a priest to that place Bina that is the meaning of you shall be a priest forever lit to a world Tehillim 1104 meaning who is a priest to that world Bina it is you this is the supernal right Jesus of Zeir and been that is there to be revealed 12 the word Hashem in the blessings is the secret of the central column in Zeir and been the secret meaning of the faith in all directions the word are Elohim in the blessings is the left side of Zeir and been it is included in his right the right is included in it and one is included in the other into one up to this point meaning up to Jesus Bira and Tiferet of Zeir and been the blessings are connected to Zeir and Pen once these Chesed Bira and Tiferet of Zeir and Pen are blessed everyone below is blessed 13 after Chesed Bira and Tiferet of Zeir and Pen are blessed and receive blessings for themselves all return included into one to that source which is bonded because they cannot return to that place before they are blessed once they are blessed first they again enter that place that is bonded to receive other additional blessings to bestow down before they are blessed they do not enter or return to bonded that is the secret meaning of the verse and none shall appear before me empty Shema 2315 14 when they return to that place bonded and enter there that place is called king which is the secret of the working in the blessing bonded is considered a king only when these Chesed Bira and Tiferet of Zeir and Pen draw near it to be blessed the king is considered a king when his chief ministers come to him when they are rich and have everything they need without Lacking anything that he is king a king below who is Malchut is so considered when he is the Sfirat of Zeir and been adorned or Malchut adequately with holy crowns here in the blessing where a king is mentioned who is a king it is the world who has sanctified us and commanded us which is by the sense it is a world that is not revealed externally and is hidden it is recited in a hidden manner meaning in the third person who has sanctified us and commanded us instead of the second person namely you who have sanctified and commanded us therefore it is recited in an undisclosed manner 15 as we learn the right which is Jesus is always called you therefore the priest bows his head towards that place you at each and every blessing of the Amateur prayer where he bows at the beginning of the blessing and at the end
lowers down his head at the beginning of the Amida prayer, he does not raise it again until he finishes the prayer. What is the reason? It is because the Holy One blessed be he said to the moon, Go and diminish yourself, and the moon which is Malchut has not yet straightened herself from this. Diminishing a king is an aspect of Malchut, therefore he lowers his head and does not raise it up. Hence a blessing with which a person blesses the Holy One blessed be he is aroused to pour down blessings. From above to all the worlds, as we have learned, blessed are the children of Israel in this world and the world to come. 17 It is written, You are our father, though Abraham is ignorant of us. Yeshua 6316 We have learned that in the world to come, Isaac shall be told, You are our father, thus Isaac, who is the left column, is called a father, that is because the left is included in the right. However, before it was included in the right, it was not considered a father because harsh judgments were. Flowing from him, but how do we know that the right two is considered a father? He responds, It is written, and be to me a father and a priest. Shoked in 1710, we understand from this that the priest who is right and she said is considered a father, although above even the non shining line which is Malchut is considered a father when it is here attached to the right, it is called you as it is written, You Hashem are our father, our redeemer. Yeshayah 6316, section 2. The owner of the house breaks the bread and the guest recites the blessing. The faithful shepherd explains the secret of the twelve letters of the blessings of the Kohen, the importance that the owner of the house making the blessing over the bread first 18. Meanwhile, an old person came to him and said, Faithful shepherd, prepare a table for your master for him and his queen with all kinds of delicacies to fulfill in it. This is the table that is before Hashem Yashiskal 4122 for until now, everyone. Was enjoying from the king's table as it says, Come eat of my bread. Michelin 95 bread is the written law, meaning Z-E-I-R and the wine of the Torah is the oral law, which is Malchut. In Malchut, there are many dainties from the various sweet meanings of the Torah and from all the vittles and delicacies in the world. And of the king 19, the faithful shepherd rose and began to speak, Aaron the priest, rise from your sleep to slaughter oxen and sheep and goats and lambs and fowl and all the varieties needed for the king's feast. The shoe bread lit the bread of faces that is 12 corresponding to the two tablets of Torah written on both their sides. Lit from this and this Hebzeh Shema 3215 Zay in numerical value is the 12 faces, which are the 12 letters in three times Y U D A Bab A in the verses Hashem bless you and keep you, Hashem make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you, Hashem lift up his countenance to you and give you peace. Bar 624 to 25. It. Second day corresponds to the three times Adonai which contained in them twelve letters. They are the twelve living creatures about which it says, and they four had the face of a lion on the right side, and the four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. Yeshua one hundred and ten. These are three living creatures, lion, ox, and eagle, and it says about them, and everyone had four faces. If it's six, that is in each creature of the three, there are four faces of the lion, ox, eagle, and man. And three times four amounts to twelve living creatures. That is the meaning of. And one had they cried to another had they and said, Yeshua sixty three. That is the twelve faces of Yud Hey Bab to the twelve creatures of Adonai. They also correspond to the twenty four books in the Torah. That is the twenty four books in the Bible. This is the meaning of this had is the table that is before Hashem Yeshua four thousand one hundred and twenty two because the table is Malchut Zay is the twelve creatures that are in Adonai which is Malchut that. Is before Hashem refers to the twelve faces in Yud Hey Bab Hey. The vessels on the king's table are the sages of Mishnah first in prayer, which the sages composed to correspond to the sacrifices. Twenty. He opened the discussion with the verse, and you shall make a table of acacia with Shema two thousand five hundred and twenty-three. Come and behold, those present at the king's feast had goodly and comely customs to show they were members of the king's table. One was that the eldest would wash his hands first when they entered to sit for the meal. The oldest would sit at the head of the table. The second would be below him, and the third below. The second. These are called the three beds because their custom was each to recline on a bed to correspond to the three patriarchs and to the priests of Levites and Yisrael that are Shisid Bira and Tiferet. From here on, they had no special order. Rather, whoever came first was seated. Twenty-one. The second custom is that the house owner breaks the bread so that he may apportion it. Generously he first completes the blessing over the bread and then breaks it. The sages of the mission have said it so that none of those reclining at the feast table are permitted to taste until the giver of the blessing has tasted first. The one who apportions is not permitted to taste until all present have finished saying Amen and if he wishes to delegate honor by giving to another to break the bread he may do so. In addition it had been stated that the guest blessed the blessing after the meal. So he will bless the landlord. 22 In an esoteric interpretation the landlord who breaks the bread is the central pillar which is the central column which is Z-E-I-R and Ben-An-Jabah. He needs to apportion from two loaves of challah bread which are Hey of Yud Hey Bab Hey. The house owner is Bab of Yud Hey Bab Hey. Between the two Hey's in order not a pure glutton he may apportion to each one a piece the size of an egg. What is the size of an egg? It is Yud of Yud Hey Bab Hey and Yud of Adonai. Which are the dots of the holy name called crumbs the size of an olive that is Yud of Yud Hey Bab Hey is the size of an egg and Yud of Adonai is the size of an olive. These crumbs correspond to drops of sperm. Therefore poverty chases whoever belittles and disposes these crumbs in an inappropriate place and he will constantly wander around. This is what is written. He wanders abroad for bread saying where is it? Eof 1523 bread means Torah and this verse implies that he cries out looking for someone who will have mercy on him but will find no one to pity him. 23 crumbs the size of an olive belong to the righteous Yezid who presses these olives which are the Sfirot extracting oil from them which is the secret of abundance. The guest had or ACH blesses namely the righteous as is written but the path had arch of just men is like the gleam of sunlight. Mishle 418 and blessings are upon the head of the just. Mishle 106 the life of the world therefore the guest who is the Righteous namely Yezid makes a blessing 24 as he was speaking the holy luminary came to him to the faithful shepherd and said faithful shepherd one day I went along with the friends to an and there was a child there who rose and by himself prepared for us a lamplight and a table as if he were 20 years old yet he was approximately 5 years old he set the table up with different dishes and drinks and said the sages have decreed that the house owner breaks the bread and the guest makes a blessing yet I am young and you are very old therefore I was afraid and dared not declare my opinion to you EO 326 until I obtained permission from you they said to him speak up my son angel of Hashem 25 he said to us do you wish for delicacies without warring for them or food by means of war that is how the sages of the mission decreed that the meal time is a time of war if you desire to battle over it let no one eat he who has won the battle shall eat first and a portion too. The rest of the friends said to him, You are still small, my son, and you have yet to learn how mighty men wage war with a sword, with waving the sword, with a spear, with a bow and arrows, with a sling and stones. 26 He said to us, Let not him that girds on his harness boast himself as he that takes it off. I may lash him. 2011 It has been explained regarding the reading of the SH that whoever recites the reading of SH by his bedside is as if he holds a double edged sword as it is written. The high praises of Hashem are in their throats and a two edged sword in their hand. Tehillim 1496 The waving of the sword needs to be done to the six directions which are Shisid, Bura, Tiferet, Netzach, and Yezid, as was explained in order to make him reign over the heavens, the earth, and the four corners of the world, which are the six directions. This Bab of Yud Hey Bab Hey, that is Zir and Ben is the body of the sword, and Yud of Yud Hey Bab Hey, is the top of the sword, the two Hays of Yud Hey Bab Hey are. The two edges of the sword, the sheath of the sword, is the name Adonai, namely Malchut 27, the spearhead, Romic Reshvab, Mem Shet is the 248 Resh, Mem Shet words in the reading of the Shma, and together with the six words in the unification, Shma Yisrael, the total Romic, that is Ramish, plus Vav, the shield, Hebmagan is with the sword, that is the three angels, Michael, Gabriel, and Nuriel, whose initials form Magan, they serve the three patriarchs, Jesus, Bura, and Tiferet, as Michael is Jesus. Gabriel, Bura, and Nuriel, Tiferet, the bow shoots arrows, and any sperm that does not sho
Mishnah sages that chaff and straw do not require tithing when Malchut is in the chaff and straw that is when the clipot are sustained by her she is in prison and the Hay the Shechina does not have permission to rise to the MEM which is Z-E-I-R and to become with it MEM Hay meaning Y-U-D-Hay Bob Hay fully spelled with Allah is of the numerical value of MEM Hay 45 this is the meaning of true misspelled Estorah and MEM Hay which is Hay equals 5 of the 5 books of the Torah in which is MEM is is. Written and Moses was in the mountain forty days. Shema 2418 Our sages referred to the chaff and straw of the wheat when they said that the tree of which Adam made was wheat for by eating of the tree of knowledge of good and evil he drew near Chet and Ten, which are the husks, clipot, chaff, and straw to the letter hay that is malchut. The yud was gone from it, which is yes, it's tithing. Therefore, when it is in straw and chaff, which correspond to the removal of the foreskin and the uncovering of the male organ, that is, they correspond to the two layers of skin covering the male organ, one of which is cut off and the other of which is cut open. It does not require tithing. That is why yud for the letter yud has no permission to join the letter hay, which are a man and a woman. That is the secret of the yud in the spelling of ish and man and the hay in the spelling of ishai and woman. Therefore, whoever breaks the bread must be precise pronouncing hay and must break the bread where. It is nicely baked because the proper ripening is the completion of the fruit that is the meaning of the bob which is Z-E-I-R and that completes the hay which is Malchut section 3 10 things one must do for the meal the faithful shepherd begins to speak about the feast of the king, the display bread the table the utensils and vessels he brings into the discussion the relevance of the names of God and their numerical values the four holy beasts and the 24 books in the Torah Moses talks about the rituals that are performed before a king's table and how beneficial and beautiful these are we read about the distribution of the loaves of Allah bread on Shabbat and about the blessings given by the guest next Rabbi Shimon appears and tells the faithful shepherd about a child of five years old who prepared the table all on his own as though he were twenty years old the child knew the order of the blessings and lectured to the rabbis on the reading of the S-H Mawi. Here of the child's inner explanation of the wheat and the properly baked bread and how he goes over the ten requirements that must be fulfilled for the Shabbat meal. The child talks about the good inclination and the evil inclination. We hear from the faithful shepherd the detailed explanation of the ten requirements mentioned by the child in this explanation. We hear about such things as the inner meaning of the ritual washing of the hands. Next Rabbi Shimon praises Moses saying that he returns by reincarnation in every generation but that he did not reveal himself except in the generation when the Torah was received. At this point we learn that the souls of a generation who have just departed are reincarnated in the next generation. Immediately afterward the faithful shepherd returns to his explication of the Shabbat meal going over the injunction to break and hand out two loaves of bread to eat three meals on the Shabbat to have a lamplet at the table to have a cup of wine ready to Talk about matters of the Torah to linger at the table for the sake of the poor and destitute to do the final washing with water to raise the cup of blessing with the proper ritual and finally to perform the blessing after the meal 31 there are 10 things one must do for the meal 1 the hand washing 2 the preparation of the 2 Shabbat halal loaves 3 to eat of 3 meals and add from weekdays to holiness 4 to light a candle on the table as was explained that a table should be to the north side and the candle on the south and to recline as was explained that if they recline together one makes a blessing for everyone 32 on Shabbat one should add from weekdays to holiness in everything he does in his food and drink his dress and his seating he should prepare a comfortable reclining bed with many pillows and embroidered cushions from all that he has in his house as when preparing the marriage canopy for the bride because Shabbat is both a queen and a bride due to this Sages of the Mishnah used to hasten to come out on Shabbat Eve to welcome her on the way and they used to say come bride come bride there is a need to invoke on that table song and joy for her 33 there is yet another secret meaning to it one needs to welcome Shabbat as it behooves one to welcome a lady by lighting many lamps for Shabbat by many pleasures beautiful clothes a house set with many adorned vessels and nicely set up comfortable chairs for everyone for joy and preparation costs. The evil handmaid that is a clipper to remain in the dark in hunger and weeping in mourning and in black dress like a widow when the one is filled the other is destroyed because the clipper is filled only with the destruction of holiness similarly holiness becomes full from the destruction of the clipper 34 the good inclination is the holy queen Malchut of holiness that descended on Shabbat that is comprised of ten spirat she is decorated with seven names that are not erased with the many. Chariots of the living creatures and with the many armies and camps of angels the king goes out to her with many camps and the evil inclination that is the wicked handmaid remains in the dark like a widow without her husband without any chariots 35 it was said about them to those who sacrifice and burn incense to the queen of the heavens and the constellation which I have not commanded Devarim 173 which is the worship with which they serve the wicked handmaid that rules on Shabbat Eve. And on Wednesday eves what do they do on Shabbat he responds they wear black clothes extinguish their lights and lament on Shabbat Eve to participate with the wicked handmaid to be in sadness trouble and darkness as she is because Elohim has made the one as well as the other Kahilat 714 36 after Yisrael sinned and the temple was destroyed it is said regarding the Shechina holy IMA how does the city sit solitary that was full of people how is she become like a widow each 11 therefore. People extinguish lamps and candles on Tisha B.A.B. and sit like mourners to participate in the sorrow of the Shechinah because they caused her all this calamity in their iniquities. 37 The fifth thing it behooves us to prepare on Shabbat is a cup of wine for saying thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Habbat Shulub Bershi 21 Namely Kiddush the sixth is to speak words of Torah at the table. The seventh is to extend the meal and allow the poor to come to the table. The eighth is washing the hands with finger bowl water. The ninth is a blessing after the meal. The tenth is a cup for the blessing after the meal. It is necessary to repeat these ten things and to prepare them in accordance with the holy meaning for she Malchut is comprised of ten Svirat Malchut is considered the table of the Holy One. Blessed be he from the side of Bura. Hence the sages have explained that the table should face the north which is from the side of Bura. 38 Now come the words of it. Faithful shepherd who explains these ten things it behooves one to do at Shabbat meal. The first, the washing of hands means that the sages of the Mishnah explain that filthy hands are unfit for blessing because they are twice removed from uncleanness. When hands are unclean, they are considered a principal cause of defilement, which is once removed from uncleanness. And when the hands are clean, they are considered twice removed from uncleanness and are fit to bless because blessing rests only on purity. Because blessing rests on a priest who is a pure man, a man of kindness. This is the meaning of it. it is like the precious ointment upon the head. Tehillim 1332. Therefore, speak to Aaron and to his son, saying, In this way you shall bless the children of Israel. Bar 623. It was explained that every priest who blesses is blessed, and if he does not bless, he is not blessed. The sages of the Mishnah have further explained that any blessing that does not have a recitation of the name of Yud. Hey Bob Hey and Malchut that I ask King of the world is not considered a blessing as Malchut is the name of Adonai thus every blessing should contain a recitation of the name Yud Hey Bob Hey and Malchut which is Adonai 39 in addition the hands need to be washed up to the joint that attach the five fingers because it was decreed to wash 14 Yadala joints in the five fingers each finger has three joints and the thumb too at that time the hand have Yad Yadala of Hashem rests on him. It is the hand of blessing from the aspect of Chesed wherein Chakma lies in the right hand because during the greatness of Zeir and Chesed ascends to become Chakma it is the hand of holiness from the aspect of Bura that prevails on judgment it is also the hand of unification from the aspect of Tiferet that unifies right and left into one this rests on the 14 joints of the body because there are 12 joints in the two arms three joints in each arm there and in the two legs with Three joints in each leg which adds up to six and together they are twelve together with the two in the body and genital organ they total fourteen and it was explained that three times fourteen also refers to the three Sfirat, Chesed, Bura and Tiferet forty three times fourteen equals forty two and the three yuds in three times hand Yadalad are indicated in Hashem bless you have Yadar Akecha Hashem make his face shine upon you have Yadar Hashem l
Central that are three times fourteen is comprised of the three faces of the living creatures, the lion, ox, and eagle, which are yet hey yet hey yet hey and the three wings in the living creatures are dalit dalit dalit. That is three times Adonai is mentioned. They all need to derive from the power head koach equals twenty eight of man Adam. That is why yud hey fully spelled with alephs. That is yud bab dalit hey alephs bab alephs hey which has the same numerical value as Adam is. Power the fully spelled why yud hey bab again fully spelled is yud bab dalit bab alephs bab dalit lane taf hey alephs alephs lane pe bab alephs bab alephs lane pe bab alephs bab hey alephs alephs lane pe. These are twenty eight letters that correspond to the twenty eight joints in the ten fingers of the hand. The queen does not dwell in his power in the twenty eight finger joints until all the filth of the wicked unfit handmaid wife to the unfit is removed. Therefore the sages of the mission explain that dirty hands are unfit. To make a blessing because the hand made rests on them. 42. This water is for cleansing the hand upon which the hand of Yudhei Vabhe rests as mentioned nearby. The hand of Yudhei Vabhe is the water of the Torah. The ignorant people are considered like unclean reptiles without knowledge of the Torah to take away their impurity. What good will immersing in water do them holding in their hand that reptile which is the wicked hand made stolen goods in their possession? The stolen blessings they stole from the Holy One. Blessed be he. They do not know what a blessing is or what filth is. 43. Immediately after the friends and myself heard these words, we could not stand to wait for him to finish all these ten items pertaining to blessings. We prostrate ourselves before him and said to him, Certainly there is no one who could speak these things except for you since you are comparable to the four sections in the Garden of Eden. If a person enters the children's section, he becomes a child in. The youth section he becomes a youth in the young man section he becomes a young man and in the old people section he becomes an old man hence it is written about you from the place of his habitation he looks upon all the inhabitants of the earth Tehillim 3314 which initials in Hebrew for Moses also it is about you that it says for that he also had Bishagam his flesh bear sheet 63 the word Bishagam contains the letters of the word Moses as it contains Mem and Shin and Bet and Gimel. Become hey you were present in the generation of the Tower of Babel and in every generation you returned by incarnation like a will that turns around in many ways yet you revealed yourself only at the generation when the Torah was given at your hands 44 as soon as you departed from the world you became like a sun that shines in every generation even when the sun is gathered at night it illuminates the moon and 600,000 stars so are you who shine on the 600,000 people in each and every. Generation that is what Kahila indicated in the verse. One generation passes away and another generation comes. Kahila 14. The sages have explained that a generation does not consist of less than 600,000 people. They also explained this verse to mean the generation that passes away is the one that comes. That is the souls of the previous generation reincarnate and come in the following generation. This fulfills the verse that which has been it is that which shall be. Kahila 19. From here on. Complete the ten items about Shabbat table openly. The faithful shepherd said to Rabbi Shimon, Holy Luminary, blessed is your lot that the Holy One blessed be he revealed to you what he has not revealed to any prophet or seer. 45. The second setting regarding Shabbat table is to break bread over two loaves of bread on Shabbat, which are alluded to in the two tablets of the Torah that were given on Shabbat in Pears on the third day. That is Typhoret. They descended from heaven on which it was said. Twice good since it comprises right and left on Shabbat which is Malchut the Torah was given in which in Malchut there are two females one from the chest of Zeir and Ben and upward and one from the chest of Zeir and Ben downward these are two females which correspond to twice good set on the third day which is Tiferet though it was explained that demons are assigned to harm peers as has been explained that one must not eat two eggs or two walnuts yet if this is so why are two loaves of bread used on Shabbat seeing they are a pair he responds it is a usage dating from Moses as delivered from Sinai that those sent on pious missions will meet no evil therefore there is no need to fear performing a precept due to it being in peers 46 you may wonder why we learned that one should not begin anything on the second day of the week or finish on Wednesday meaning on the second and on the fourth because there are peers which applies to matters of precepts as well even though those sent on pious missions will meet no evil he answers this is when with the mixed multitude that is when the children of Israel are mingled with the mixed multitude who are never sent on pious missions because they have not converted for heaven's sake that it is forbidden to begin on Monday or Wednesday however the righteous who have no connection with the mixed multitude may start on Monday and Wednesday for the sake of performing a precept because those sent on a pious mission shall come to no harm. Therefore after they were gone from the world after the sin of the golden calf the holy one blessed be he commanded to take two tablets of stone like the first Shema 341 saying and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets of it and he did not mind the peers 47 the two loaves of bread on Shabbat indicate the two yuds in the combination of Yudhi Hei and Adonai which is Yudhi Hei Vav Nun Hei Yud for Adonai which is Malchut is alone without her. Husband, which is why Yudhi Hei during the six weekdays, because they are not then in a complete union on Shabbat. Why Yudhi Hei descends to Adonai, and the combination is formed of Yudhi Aleph Hei Dalit Vav Nun Hei Yudhi. Therefore, two loaves of bread are used to indicate the two Yudhi's at the beginning and end of this combination of the name Yudhi Aleph Hei Dalit Vav Nun Hei Yudhi. Hence, all Neshamat Rishat and Nefeshat leave and come down in pairs on Shabbat, and no devil or demon has power on Shabbat. Day even Gehenom has no power and does not burn on Shabbat. Therefore, you shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations on Shabbat. Day Shema 353 that refers to strange fire, but the fire of sacrifice is a fire of holiness which is permissible in the temple on Shabbat. Thus, we need to take two loaves of bread on Shabbat and not to be afraid of pairs. There is no need to speak at length on the subject of their apportioning meaning about the measure of an olive size or an egg size as it was. Already explained above 48 the third setting regarding the Shabbat table I asked to eat three meals on Shabbat as was explained by the sages of the Mishnah one of them said let my lot be with those who eat on three meals on Shabbat which complete the seven blessings in the Amid of prayer by bringing them to a total of ten the secret of delight had one eye and Nun Gimel is the secret meaning of and a river went out of Eden to water that garden Bereshi 210 for Eden means delight and the garden is Malchut the secret meaning of Shabbat also O-N-E-G is the initials of Eden the Harang river and Gan and garden whoever can but does not observe them for him the one egg turns into a plate had negative leprosy as they are spelled with the same letters in order that he should not come to this the Holy One blessed be he says borrow on me and I will pay and it is written then shall you delight yourself in Hashem Yeshayah 5814 49 the fourth setting is to light the table with the lamp as was Decreed by ancient sages that a table should be at the north and the lamp at the south for the table of the Holy One. Blessed be he Malchut needs to be that way. The fifth setting is the one cup of Vachelu, meaning the Kiddush cup. The numerical value of Kos and cup is that of Elohim. That is 86. Vachelu is 72 in numerical value, which the Holy Bride Malchut includes, namely the name Elohim and the name of Ayin. Bet 72, the cup which is Malchut filled with the one meaning of abundance of it. Illumination of Chakma of the Torah, which is Zeir and called Torah, needs to bear testimony to the act of creation, which is the secret of Bina, because the abundance of the illumination of Chakma is considered a testimony. Habi Dut based on Eden and Bina is the source that powers it. That is the reason why one should testify to the act of creation. 50. The sixth setting is to have words of Torah at one's table, because that is how the sages of the mission decreed about three who ate on. The same table yet have not spoken on it words of Torah. The secret meaning is that they have decreed that the table should be to the north and that the Torah was given from the right. Therefore it behooves one to say words of Torah at the table in order to join the right which is mercy with the left which is judgment. The Torah is Yudhei Vav Hazeir Anpin which was given from the right and the table is Adonai Malchut which is from the left which is at the north. Therefore one needs to join them. Because the left without the right confers harsh judgment since the table is at the left side. The sages of the mission have explained that a person's sustenance is as difficult to obtain as the splitting
Libmodes equals 903 Talim 6821 and that an empty pocket is the most difficult. How could it be said he found no better virtue for Yisrael than poverty? 54 He responds it is only because about each nation and people it is said and it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their Elohim and look upward. Yeshay 821 However the children of Yisrael are in the covenant with the Holy One. Blessed be he also with this virtue and do not deny his existence hence they shall be redeemed by this virtue this is the meaning of and the afflicted people you shall save two small 2228 on the angkor is derived from envy and suffering since even when one has wealth but suffers from illnesses and afflictions he is considered poor or he is distressed for his wealth and is afflicted every day this is surely true for one who is poorer than him meaning that he lacks even enough to fulfill his needs and must wander from place to place who is most certainly considered poor 55 there is another kind of poor man who lost his mind like job about whom it is said job has spoken without knowledge of 3435 so too is the dalit which is the sheshana when allah and shed of were gone from it which is the central pillar called that knowledge it is poor and one who is without knowledge does not incur iniquity by speaking improperly furthermore allah is the torah that is comprised of the 613 commandments this is the Meaning of this is my name Hebshemai forever and this is my memorial Hebzikri to all generations Shema 315 Shema plus Yad Hei is numerically 365 and Zikri plus Vav Hei is numerically 248 Therefore it has been explained that one is poor only in Torah and commandments This is because the other poor people suffer but are not poor The letter Dalit of Adonai which is Malchut is also poor without Yad Hei Vav Hei Similarly the Dalit of Eshad which is Malchut is poor without Aleph and Shed of Eshad That is the 613 commandments of the Torah that are Shasidim 5068 setting is the finger bowl water that was instituted due to the salt of Sdom that is blinding to the eyes Why is it considered obligatory he answers according to the esoteric interpretation Deadly poison rests on dirty hands with which one makes a blessing and on a cup over which one makes a blessing without cleanliness And it is considered defiled just as a cup from which people drank is considered unclean for a Blessing until it is cleansed by rinsing it inside and out the hands all the more so hence finger bowl water is obligatory the secret of this is in the verse you shall therefore sanctify yourself Vayikra 262 which refers to the washing of hands before the meal and you shall be holy Ibid refers to finger bowl water for I am holy Ibid refers to fragrant ointment which was used to anoint the hands after finger bowl water these three things correspond to holy 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 you shall therefore sanctify yourself so that it shall be known that you are children of the holy one blessed be he that is what is meant by you are the children of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 14157 the ninth setting is the cup of blessing as has been explained by the sages of the Mishnah ten things were said about this cup of blessing which are decorating wrapping washing rinsing unmixed wine full cup receiving it with both hands and leaving it with the right raising it from the surface a hand breath. Looking at it and sending it as a gift to the members of his household now we have only four which are washing rinsing unmixed wine and a full cup some say the wine should be taken unmixed from the cask but in the cup water may be added to it some say that unmixed lit living wine means the cup should be whole and not that it may not be diluted because its breaking is its death therefore when it is whole it is considered living the other items are explained before us 58 he explains what a whole cup is a cup according to wisdom is malchut that is called elohim alaflam hey yud mem when it is full with yud hey when it is in smallness malchut is considered mute have ilem alaflam at mem without yud hey and they are whole meaning that both names the cup and elohim are complete this way however a cup had goes without vav is like kcaf same instead of kais and throne caf same which would be defective and lacking without alaf therefore kes instead of kais is lacking Without Bob and his defective, the throne does amount numerically to Kos and Takis and the throne is also a name of Malchut as is Kos 59. The cup is Malchut, which is the secret of Hay equals 5 of Yud Hay Bob Hay 10 items are needed that correspond to Yud equals 10 to multiply 10 by 5 and draw the 50 gates of Bina. They are one crowning that indicates the secret of the corona, meaning the crown of Typhoid, which is Malchut of Yezid. This is the secret of the crowning of which the sages of blessed memory said that he used to crown it by placing scholars around it. That is the corona of the member of the covenant in order to join with it Malchut of Yezid, which indicates the union of Yezid and Malchut to give birth to souls. The secret of scholars to wrapping indicates the verse of prayer of the poor when he faints or wraps tail in 1021 because all these blessings and prayers are covered together, meaning they are delayed in being received until the prayer of the poor rises. It Prayer of the poor is the correction of Malchut from the side of Dalit of Eshad which is called poor. The wrapping indicates this correction 63 and 4 are washing and rinsing which are like and cleanse it and hallow it. Vayikra 1619 cleansing is from the right which is Jesus and the hallowing is from the left which is Bure. The cup of blessing is called Malchut from the part of Bina that is called Elohim and called the wreath from the part of Keter 5 it is called unmixed living from it. Aspect of Yezid that is also called peace as is written neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed said Hashem that has mercy on you Yishayah 5410 rather it will be alive forever therefore Malchut is called living from this aspect six full is from the aspect of Tiferet meaning what it receives from Tiferet that is above the chest it is whole and full seven accepting it with both hands that indicate the two HEIS of Yud Hay in which the upper Hay which is Bina is Jesus and it. Lower Hay is Malchut is Bure 61 leaving it with the right hand because the upper Hay is Jesus and the second Hay is Bure therefore he should give it with the right hand with the first Hay lifting it off the surface a hand breath the hand breath indicates the secret of the letter Yud because Hay is raised by Yud meaning that one should raise the five Sfirot of Malchut from her place which is the secret of the surface multiply her by Yud and meditate on her receiving the fifty gates of Bainanan looking at it with the eyes which are the secret of the unification of Yud Alaf Hay Vav Hay namely the combination of Yud Hay Vav and Adonai one should meditate that Yud Hay Vav which is Zeir and shines in the pupil of the eye which is Adonai Yud Hay Vav shines in the three colors of the eyes white red and green which are Jesus Bure and Tiferet of Zeir and Adonai shines in the two eyelids as well as the two pupils of the eye and the hair of it. Eyelashes 10 sending it as a gift to the members of the household one's house is Bina regarding which it is written let Moses rejoice in the gift of his portion this is because Moses merited Bina and one needs to attach the cup which is Malchut to the lights of Bina 62 the tenth setting of the Shabbat table is the blessing after the meal it was explained by the sages that three who eat together need a cup the secret meaning of this is that three are the aspect of your love as a bride. Had Kalolotaik here 22 namely the love of all three Kol who are the patriarchs regarding whom it is written in all of all all had Bakol Mikol Kol since Kalolotaik is derived from Kol in respect to Abraham it says Hashem blessed Abraham in all things had Bakol Bershi 241 in respect to Isaac it says and I have eaten of all had Mikol and in respect to Jacob it says I have enough all had Kol Bershi 3311 we should not speak at length about it because it is a hidden mystery. 63 How do we know that the blessing after the meal is prescribed by the Torah because it is written when you have eaten and are replete then you shall bless Hashem your Elohim for the good land which he has given you. Devarim 810 We have studied in the Beretta that you shall bless refers to the blessing who sustains Hadhaz and everything Hashem your Elohim refers to the blessing for the land and for sustenance Hadhaz El Hayaretz Vel Hamazon in which Hashem your Elohim refers to blessing for the food and for the land refers to the blessing who builds Jerusalem Hebona Yerushalayim it also says that goodly mountain region and the Lebanon Devarim 325 This explains only the blessings after the meal yet where is the blessing before the meal indicated it is indicated in the words which he has given you which means that from the time he has given you even before eating you must bless him 64 The sages of blessed memory have interpreted that Moses instituted for the Children of Israel, the blessing who sustains Hadhazan when manna descended on them, Joshua instituted for them the blessing over the land when he entered them into the Holy Land, David and Solomon instituted the blessing for the
In the Hidden Mysteries and Deep Illusions section 4 as for the likeness of their faces they had the face of a man Rabbi Shimon draws a correspondence between the seven letters inscribed on the tefillin the seven lobes of the lungs the seven days of the week the seven weeks from Pesach to Shavuot the seven candles of the candelabra the seven planets and the seven levels or Sfirat upon which the universe endures he talks about the four countenances of the holy. Beast he emphasizes that Adam is male and female we learn that there is a correspondence between the four countenances and the four enshrined names of God as read in the great mighty and awesome El the human face observes all the creatures and all ascend and observe him Rabbi Shimon talks about the secret of the throne ascending and descending and how the four countenances of the creatures are depicted engraved illuminating shining sparkling and glowing and how they sow seeds upon it. World 66 Hashem your Elohim is the Elohim of Elohim Lord of Lords a great El Devarim 1017 we have learned that as for the likeness of their faces they had the face of a man Yashiskel 110 these are unlike the cherubs these are large faces while cherubs are small faces like those of children all images are comprised in the face of a man because they are large faces engraved shapes are formed in them by the engraving of the name explicitly pronounced to the four directions of the world. East, west, north, and south. 67. Michael made a mark to the south side and all three faces: the face of a lion, the face of an ox, and the face of an eagle. Look toward the face of a man. A man is male and female and is not called a man without them. From it, from the face of a man, all shapes were formed in the secret of the verse. The chariots of Elohim are twice ten thousand thousands upon thousands. Hebshin and Tehillim 6818. 68. Shin in the verse contains all the shapes because it is the initials of Shur and Ox, Arya and Lion, Nesher and Eagle, and final none is Adam and man, which is the expansion of the meaning of male and female that are included together. All the thousands and tens of thousands come out of these living creatures that are in the secret of Shin, and from these shapes, each parts to its aspect as befits it. 69. All these are integrated into each other and are comprised of each other, so that one should be included in the other. These the ox, eagle, lion, and Men are maintained by the secret of the four engraved names which are the great and mighty and awful L which rise to maintain and observe seventy the ox rose to be maintained by and observe the face of a man another name is adorned and inscribed by two colors it is the name L it then goes back and the throne engraves and carves it and it is marked by it to be maintained by the secret of this name seventy one the eagle rose to be maintained by and observe the face of a man a name rises and is adorned and inscribed by two faces and colors to observe in rising the wreath which is the name great it then goes back and the throne engraves and carves it and it is marked so as to be maintained by the secret of this name seventy two the lion rose to be maintained by and observe the face of a man a name rises and is adorned and inscribed by two faces and colors to be strengthened and connected to be reminded is the name mighty it then goes back and the throne engraves and carves it and it is marked so as to be maintained by the secret of this name 73 the face of a man observes all the living creatures and all rise and observe it they all take form by their engravings in this form in the secret by means of a name called awful it is then written about them that as for the likeness of their faces they had the face of a man they are all included in this form and this form encompasses them 74 because of the secret meaning the holy one blessed be he is called the great mighty and awful l because these names are high corrections by the supernal chariot and it is included in the four letters of yud hey which is the name encompassing all forms these forms are engraved and carved into the throne and the throne is engraved and embroidered with them one to the right and one to the left and one to the front and one to the rear assigned to the four directions of the world 75 when the throne ascends it is marked in these four shapes these four Lofty names bear this throne and the throne is composed of them until the throne receives and collects these pleasures and delights afterwards the throne descends fully laden like a tree full with branches in every direction and loaded with fruits after the throne descends the four forms of the living creatures come out formed engraved illuminating glittering and glowing and they sow seeds over the world.